Hello, my name is Caitlin Molina. I am the proud mother of Milo and Ella Molina. Uh, my son Milo received care at Boston Children's Hospital. So about two years ago, my son Ma Milo began displaying debilitating symptoms. It was right around the time when he started kindergarten. So my husband and I were obviously concerned because these were not symptoms that we had seen prior to the start of kindergarten. For more than 18 months, we sought answers, both from his pediatrician and from two nearby hospitals. Um, it wasn't until we were introduced to Boston Children's Hospital, where we received dedicated pediatric child specialist uh, care, that Milo was diagnosed with tethered cord syndrome. Um, he promptly, within six weeks of meeting the team at Boston Children's Hospital, was scheduled for comprehensive neurosurgery, um, which repaired the tethered cord. Um, we've been grateful to see incremental progress ever since. But when we were introduced to Boston Children's Hospital and we were given medical answers to what he was experiencing, it gave us a toolkit to go back to school, his school, to go back to our employers and say, no, this is, this is a chronic and very concerning issue that needs to get corrected immediately. I think something we got at Boston Children's Hospital was the fact that Milo was treated with respect like a human. Again, instead of just being a number and a patient, Milo was the kid that we knew. And Boston Children's Hospital saw that and treated him like that. We are participating in Family Advocacy Day because we want every child in the world to have the medical care that my son had. We want them to have access to it, we want them to be knowledgeable about it, and we want them to be able to feel like they have a voice in advocating for their kid. I want Congress to know that not only did a dedicated children's hospital like Boston Children's Hospital save my child's life, Milo, um, it also saved my life, my husband's life, and Ella's life. Um, we felt incredibly hopeless, and without that dedicated service, um, I don't know that we would be here today. Um, as someone who's worked in healthcare at a government level, walking into Boston Children's Hospital and experiencing the sophistication of their operations, it is so impressive. It is so remarkable, and to think that there would ever be any question about the level of funding that needs to be resourced to support that makes me want to come here every week and talk to legislators in Congress about that. Give us our family back. It's that simple. You have no idea how much we struggled trying to figure out what was going on with Milo. How many late nights we had to talk, just trying to figure things out. So Boston Children's Hospital gave my family back. A sense of peace, a sense of hope. Allowing Milo to have a normal childhood. You can't buy that.